Oh. <laughs> he just ran right into the red stuff. How about you run right into the red stuff too, bud? I'm glad our own fireballs don't hurt us. I'd be dead a hundred times over by now. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, we have almost our entire Elder set. Uh, I showed uh, in uh, the montage, opening montage there, us getting all the pieces except for the gloves. We still haven't found the Elder gloves, but we have everything else in the Elder set. Um, and I uh, also showed you, you know, some other things we got, too. I still haven't found the legendary version of the... Uh, rich, uh, ritual Tempest wand. And um, the undergrowth staff is a very, very, very good staff, but uh, it may not you know, be the one that we'll actually use. We'll have to see. There's a couple other ones, uh, like the blackened staff, for example, which I use on multiplayer, that we might use instead. We'll just you know kind of see you know how that plays out. But um, we're getting very close now to uh, being ready to attempt the, uh, let's see, the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. Uh, I went ahead and ran the Revelwood Hollow Halls again, um, just off camera. Just went through it and pretty much, you know, burned the place to the ground <laughs> with very little difficulty, um, and got another uh, head from the Cyclops there and some, you know, extra materials, uh, ectoplasm shards, and that sort of thing. Um, all right, so the plan for this episode is we're going to start off by doing, you know, working on the house a little bit, uh, but then what I want to do is I want to go uh, open up some more areas um for you know continuing to farm i know that there's a gold chest somewhere i think down in this area i think there's one in this area there's definitely stuff at the sun this sun temple and somewhere around in here there's a, a place that has a cave and some more scavengers high levels you know level 30 stuff uh that we could also be farming as well um over here this uh this area over here is where um, I've been farming that gold chest, which is up on this, I think this bluff right here. And, but there's also a tomb there that I've been farming and I pulled a lot of good stuff out of that tomb. And I will show that to tomb to you guys uh, on camera. And then, uh, as far as points goes, I think what I want to do, I have a couple of points. Uh, we, well, we have five points actually. I think we need to invest in updraft. Just because it's gonna, we're gonna really need this, I think, in the last two hollow halls. Um, and so let's just go ahead and take it. Uh, I'm still planning on get, get, getting into the trickster tree. Um, magic power punch that pushes. I, I wonder how effective that is. I've never seen really seen anybody use it. I don't really care about this so much, but it's it's terror and arcane concentration, those two in particular. Plus, I wouldn't mind another intelligence and another spirit. That I really would like to get to uh, in the, you know, as far as the points goes. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think, you know, updraft is just something we're going to need um, in these in these coming dungeons. So we got it now and uh, that's that's been taken care of. 
Okay, so let's uh, spend a little bit of time on the house in the first part of the episode here. I haven't done anything else with it since the you know the last build episode that we did where we fixed the porch. And uh, the plan for today is to fix the upstairs uh, part of the house and maybe get a couple more pieces in to up our rested uh, bonus too. Uh, let's go into here and I want to grab the uh, I want to grab the half timbered blocks and our building hammer. And we might want the scaffolding too, so let's grab that. Um, we uh, and yeah, let's grab the roof talk, uh, roof block top block by geez, Louise, <laughs> the roof tiles. Good lord, my mouth just you know, my mouth and my brain don't always uh coordinate with the. <laughs> with each other oh my god that was bad okay so anyway um oh and i did show you guys uh, the real significant weapons and stuff that we got but we we got some really good stuff here uh like for example we have the ignited hammer uh, the legendary version of that and a uh, rot blood um you know if we ever did decide to go and you know do a two-handed build which i actually would like to try at some point in this game i don't know if we'll do it in this series but i'd like to try it um, you know, but if we did mess around with it in this series, you know, we have, we have the weapon, um, there. Uh, also the shroud weaver is, a a, a a pretty decent staff. It's not really one that I think I'll use. Uh, it focuses more on, on fire damage, but it doesn't really have, it does have a health regen thing, but it doesn't have anything for mana. Um, so because of that, I probably won't use it, but there's a, a chest that I discovered uh, I found out about where you can pretty much just farm this uh, nonstop, and it's uh, it because it, it it always uh, the chest always produces this specific staff, and one of the cool things about being able to do that over and over is then you can you know once you have the first one you can salvage it and get a whole bunch of runes. Not that we are in need of runes at the moment. I've got two full stacks of runes, um, and then some you know of just from all the farming that I have been doing. Okay, so I don't think I have anything else. Uh, what? What are you doing? Not time to sit down. It's time to work. Um, I, I think that's pretty much it to get you updated on. We are going to need to make some more of the half timbered blocks. So what all do we need for that? Uh, wood and clay. Oh, right. I guess I don't have to pull that stuff out now. So let's just make a, a few more of those. As far as the farming stuff goes, um, I've got uh, a field of flax. I've got beets here. I've got flax and aloe uh, plants out here. That uh, That's going to give us a massive amount of aloe when the time comes for you to farm it. I don't need it right at the moment. i got a pretty good supply of it just from going out and grabbing it. But, uh, yeah, now we, can, now we can farm that. I don't know. Do I have anything in here? Uh, yeah, looks like I have chamomile. In fact... Well, let's get, get that in the ground, too. We need the chamomile to make the large health potions, among other things. And so we want to always have a good supply of this. So let, let me get all this grabbed and just throw it in the ground real quick, and then we'll get started with the, the building stuff. I have been also making quite a bit of nitrate. Uh, so we have, yeah, we have the 92 in preparation for, you know, making the better uh, farm soil. The I don't know what it's called, but it's the the next level up from the basic farm soil. And then uh, we'll be. I'm planning on doing uh, a garden over here, uh, but we won't be getting to that in this episode. All right, let's put you down here, and head on upstairs. The other thing that I did too when I ran um, the Revelwood again. Uh, is I took time to actually break all of the containers in there. Uh, I know some of you would like me to do that, and I might actually do that when we do, you know, the the two high ends. And it's just it's just going to take longer, and I can edit some of it out. But the thing is, is it really is worth doing because you get so many potions and and uh, the uh, what are they called? The scroll, the prayer of the flame scroll. Yeah. I picked up like eight of those in the Revelwood dungeon, and these are really, you know, useful to us as a mage. So, uh, yeah, so we did that, and um, it was a good run. Um, I don't, I think I died once, but I think it was due to falling, not from, not from the monsters. 
I don't remember, but anyway, we, we got through it and, and it went pretty well. Okay, so what I want to do here is let's go with the two meter here. And if we just put that in and then take it back out just to clear the, the crap stuff out of the way. Um, and then let's do the same thing here. We'll turn it this way and put it in. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I'm okay with the ivy being there. I think that's fine. Um, we need to just deal with that corner piece there. Uh, let's turn this this way. Oh, wrong side. And I think we'll just go to... There's a little bit of... Mm. Is that ruined block there? I think it is. It seems, it seems kind of weird, actually. Those pieces that are kind of protruding. Um, the thing is, though, is if I take those out, it'll screw up the ivy, and I actually like the ivy there. So I think we're going to leave that the way it is and not worry too much about it. Okay, so let's fill this back in. Um, here, go back down to here. Yeah, all right. So what we'll do now is... I think I'm just going to build this back up like so. Just so I can kind of see what's going on from up here. And... If we put that there, no, I think we need to, go here and here and here. Just having a little bit of trouble again seeing the angle that this is supposed to be in. There. That's correct. Oh, got kind of a buggered up block up here too. There. Okay, that fixed that. Except for... Uh, no, this is... Is that in too far? It is in too far. It's got to be in too far. All right, take this back out. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Okay, let's get back down on the scaffold. Bring this to here. Yeah. Uh, Wait, is that right? Here, turn snapping off. There we go. <laughs> snapping is a mixed blessing. Sometimes it really helps, and sometimes it's just a royal pain in the ass. I think I went down too low. We need to go up one. And out too far that time. That's what we're... Uh, that's what we're wanting to do. I 
think. The only question I have, though, is why is it lower? Why is this lower here and this is higher? Um, I would say I went down too far, except for this line goes all the way back there. We didn't touch anything back there. Uh, okay, let's go get off there. Let's go look at this side and see if we can tell. Well, we can't because it's like totally different on this side. Hmm. Let's go back up here again. I mean, again, we didn't touch that side in the line. That's the correct line. So is that, that just seems weird. It seems to me like it should match. What if we, what if we just take it out? Like that? I mean, that corner was never there to begin with. It was, it, it's just been ruined all along. So I was never able, you know, we can't really tell what it was originally. If we... No, that doesn't seem right. Hmm. I don't know, man. That is, that's really odd. I guess I'm just going to leave it that way. Um, and maybe that's the way that it's actually supposed to be. It doesn't make sense to me, though, really, if you think about it. Um, oh, okay, well, no. I guess it's down one on this side, too, so I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. That's just weird, though, that they would drop it down like that, I think. Okay. Well, it's, it's the way that it is, so <laughs> we'll go with it. We will go with it. All right. So let's put you guys in there. And then we have to go up and, and fix the window. So let's pick you up and we'll go back inside. We have to sleep here pretty soon. All right. Um, not sure exactly what window that is. Roof tiles, windows. It might be that one. Mm -mm. I don't think it is. Let's go ahead and sleep. Oh, this is not... It's not quite nighttime yet. Uh, windows. I'll, I'll bet you it's this one here. Yeah, I believe that's correct. Doesn't seem to have the exact same. No, that is not exactly the same. But what else, what other window would there be? A 
that's the carved window wooden frame. All these are too fancy. That's a different design there altogether. That's our, uh, yeah, this is our only option here. Okay, well, I, it's not, it does not appear to me to be the exact same window. But, I mean, it's close enough to where I think it'll work. Unfortunately, I can't pick this up. I can only dismantle it to see what it actually is. Okay, well, if that's what we got to work with, that's what we got to work with. I mean, we could even put nicer windows up there if we wanted to. But right now, again, I'm mostly just concerned with getting the structure itself repaired. And then we can work on, you know, a decoration after that. Okay, so that takes care of that corner. Um, let's see if we can get this corner taken care of too before we finish our build building for this episode. Um, let's go here and um, I'm going to want refined wood blocks. I really wish we could use the blocks, you know, from the magic window too. I think, I, I don't remember if that's like on the roadmap. I know it's been requested. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. We want refined wood block. Okay, so for you... Let's just work with... Um, the, yeah, let's just work with this. Well, thing is, though, is I think we want to take all that up to get rid of the rubble. If we do this and remove it. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, okay. I think that's exactly what we wanted to do. All right, now... Let's switch to just the floor block and pop it in. And nice. Cleans that up nicely. Okay. Next, we want to get rid of... Switch back to half timbered. We want to get rid of all these ruined blocks here. So I think we'll go to two meter. And let's just pop you in uh, there and then take you back out actually want to do it one more over this way oh we need to we need to put slide that over one there's a gap there Let's get our scaffolding set up out here, too, just so we can hit it from both angles. Mm, yeah, I think I want you right there. Um... here go back to here undo the placement of that Tur oh yeah snapping's off I believe that's what we want Yeah, that's right. Cause it, cause I had. Oh no, I still do have a gap underneath the rug. Well, dog on it. Okay. Um, can we just stick you right in here to fix that? 
Okay. Now let's go back to two meter and back to timbered block. And we want to put you right here and then pull you back out to clean up the crap. Yeah, got a lot of work to do on the ceiling as well. And let's switch to two meter and I'm just going to cut that out. This whole uh, roof piece needs to come out too. If I go to the roof piece and flip it this way, can I tell you to well, we could also do that too. All right. Let's go back outside for a minute. I forgot to put my rug back down. Let's go to... Um, two meter... And this guy. And that fixes that. Okay. Um, I wonder, was, was there a window here? Don't remember. If there wasn't, I'm thinking we should put one in there. I'll probably want to deal with this upstairs. I'd rather deal deal with it, you know, from the top down than the bottom up. Um, all right, so let's go back out here for a minute. Let's go back down to here. And uh, you guys also did confirm in the comments that the devs do put in a double roof um, because it hides the um, yeah that's too far down it hides the you know the walls sticking up I'm going to probably bail off the edge of my scaffolding here because i got to keep moving forward. Okay. I think that's right. Except for it needed to be moved over to there. And then... There. Eh. Oh, shit. All right. Instead of fighting this, let's not. Let's not fight it. Let's move this damn thing closer so I can get in the right position. Okay, so, so this roof piece does come down one block lower on this angle. So I think I did that right. I think that is correct. I do believe. However... The inside piece is not. The inside piece is down too far. So. 
we need to... I wonder if we could just fix that by trimming it. Wait, hold on. Try that. Uh, we want you to be under here. So that, that creates kind of like a little eave there, or uh, soffit is actually the right word, I believe, for that. I'm really having trouble seeing. Um, will this help? Not really. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, well let's um let's finish getting the the corner piece fixed anyway. Um, so let's go back to two meter, and I think I want to keep it on you. And we want you to be there and there. I think that's exactly what we want to have happen. We put you in there. Um, we have we have some more ruined blocks here that need to come out. Um, okay, now let's put these back in. Good. That's nice and clean. I think that's exactly what we want to have happen there. Okay, let's go back to two meter and to you. And we want to put you right. I just can't quite get in position there. Let's actually go, let's do these instead. Yeah, that's good. See, now my scaffolding's too close. You mother. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can finish this from the inside. Uh, okay, so we're going to need... That's what we want to do. Uh, I might have done something weird out there. No? I don't think I did. Because it's, it's kind of got this little crossbar thing going all the way up to the peak there. Oh, that's cute. It's got like a little balcony out there with that chest. Um, all right. I think... I think that looks pretty good. I also think, though, that we should punch a window in there. In that corner too. Seems to me like there should be a window there. Uh, the question is, should we put it here? Let me look at that from the outside. I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's 
So we were using this window, even though it's not exactly the same. And that should be what we want. Looking good. It's, it's still, I know I say this all the time, but it still amazes me uh, about how long it takes to do this. I mean, you know, you say, oh, you just got that little corner there to repair. That should only take five minutes. No, it takes more like 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> to try and figure it out. Um, part of it for me, too, is, you know, I'm still learning. There's that. But also, I still have a hard time with the angles sometimes, you know, and, and trying to see everything. But, um, all right, well, we made some progress. It's We got a lot, still a lot more to do. But uh, we definitely made some progress there. Um, hold on a sec. I gotta look at something. Yeah, we could, we could actually put another window in there and probably should just because there's two windows on this end as well. Two windows in the center section. So it kind of makes sense that we would have two windows in this section. At least in my mind it does. Make another one of you. Um okay, so you guys are one two and a half blocks apart. So one and a half. So I think you're you're right here. Took too much out of the top. That looks right. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, now I want to do one more thing before we stop building and go adventuring. Um, I want to look at the the uh, t -t 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 where's where are the chairs? Chairs. Can we do everything we need to make this? I believe we do because this is going to give us seven to comfort. We just need four charcoal. Been making charcoal. Okay, so for now, uh, I mean, we don't really have, like, a throne room set up. That's something we can maybe work on later. Why don't we just stick it right here? I know it's kind of a weird place for it, but right now, I just want it for the rested buff. Okay, so that bumps us up to comfort level 37 and gives us a rested of 42. Is there anything else we can make quickly and easily to uh, increase our buff? So we got the bed in. We put some tables in last time. We were going to do the fireplace. Um, Let's just make this damn thing. I, I, I can even put it in the basement, you know? We don't even necessarily need to have it in a place where we... Where we're looking at it, we just need to have it for the rested bonus. So, oh, you know what, though? Yeah, we need 20 bricks. Shit. Okay, what about this one? That needs 10. And that's only a, a comfort of 3 anyways. This one's 4. I don't... Do I have any more bricks? If not, we're going to have to make some. Well, no, I don't, because the it would have pulled from the chest. Okay, well, then that means we need to make some bricks. So let's grab a stack of clay. And is it dirt? Uh, no, it's, it's logs. Okay, so let's throw the clay in there. Right, logs for the fuel. Let 
gonna have to go do some more lumberjacking. Okay, so that's not gonna take a million years. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut the camera. Well, actually, before we do that, let's see if there's something else we can make real quick. Um, okay, so we got the bed, we got tables, we're working on the fireplace, we just did the throne. Benches, we can make some benches. Uh, that gives a five, that gives five comfort. Four, three, yeah. Okay, so... Mm, I kind of sworn I had two things of padding. Just one. Okay. We should have everything we need to make more padding. Oh, yeah, we do. Station. Got everything else? Okay, let's make the iron bench. Anything else? Uh, how about we stick this right here? We need to, um, let's move the collector a little bit over. Uh, where do I have that thing yet? Right here. him there for the moment. Grab you. We'll put you right here. Okay, that brings our comfort level up to 41. Um, why don't you stand? Oh, wait, what? That was weird. It kind of tabbed me out for a second there. That takes care of the bench. Okay, what else can we do? Um, bathroom stuff. Yeah, we need to do bathroom stuff, don't we? Of course we do. Uh, let's do a stone sink. A tone, uh, a tone, a stone, a toilet, the bathtub, and the shower. Now, that stuff is actually all in this room. Get rid of that. Um, let's look, let's do the big stuff first. So that's gonna be the toilet, the shower. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put the toilet along here. Or I'm sorry, the, not the toilet, the whatever this thing's called, <laughs> the bathtub. Okay, and then we'll put the shower here. Yeah, I know. That's kind of a weird place for a shower. I'll have to pick this stuff back up again probably when we replace this floor, but we'll worry about that later. We'll put the toilet next to the shower. Okay, so we're now up to level 52, and then we'll put the sink right here. Get out of my face. Jesus, knock it off. That's pretty close. Okay, that gets us up to level 56, and we have one hour and one minute arrested buff. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. Illumination. The iron chandelier will give us five comfort. Uh, but I don't... I, I can make the goo, but I don't have enough luminous growth, so I'll have to go mine some of that. Uh, we could make some of these lamps, though. Oh, these give five comfort, too. Um, I think only one actually counts, though. Let's confirm that. Um, okay, so let's put a lamp here. Well, we could actually use more light upstairs. We'll put a better... That didn't do anything. this 
back up. Oh no, it did. It gave us it gave us one level. Yeah, okay. So it did increase us by one level. Um Okay. So like I said, if we put the second one in, I don't think it will give us more, but let's set it down anyway. No, but it does give us a little bit of light in the bathroom. All right. What about... That's comfort level four. That's only two. That's only two, but I, I like the braziers, uh, these braziers. They put off a lot of light. But... Luminous growth, yeah. Oh, we can make this, and it'll give us five comfort. Okay, let's do it. Godspeed. Um, all right, where do we want to put this at? Emily, would you like a a very valuable, albeit a gaudy looking lamp somewhere? Okay, that brings no. We're still at 57. So that did not change our comfort level. Hmm. Okay. Let's see where we're at with the bricks. Okay, we have 12 and we have 7 in stock. That should be enough to make this. Five bronze bars. Seriously, did we... We just used up all our bronze bars making all that other stuff. Of course we did. Uh, all right, so that means we need some tin and some copper. Okay, that's going to take a little bit longer than I think I want to wait. So I think we're going to go ahead and finish with our building for this episode. Because um, I want to spend a little bit of time um, going out and opening up a couple of more uh, far, uh, legendary farming locations. Put that in there. Building hammer can go in there. Okay, so is it already starting to get dark again? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is, but look at that. We got an hour and two minutes now of rested. And we'll be able to bump that up even more, you know, when we put a few more things in. But uh, we made some progress. It's kind of slow going, but that's okay. I, I kind of like the format of, you know, working a little bit on it not spending an entire episode on building, but, you know, working for part of the episode and then go and do some other stuff. That being said, though, we are, Jesus, we're already 48 minutes into this episode. Uh, I, but uh, yeah, let's, um, I, I want to just do a little bit of adventuring before I let you guys go. I, if for no other reason, uh, wait, no, it's not time to sleep yet. If for no other reason, I, I just want to unlock a couple more legendary farming locations um, I know, like I said, there's one down here, and I think there's one here and one here, and, and then, of course, the Sun Temple itself uh, would also... And we can get some new blocks, I think, at this Sun Temple, too. And um, we have four Elixir Wells to unlock uh, and or Roots. No, these are all Elixir Wells, so that'll get us uh, some more points... And we have one, looks like in the Nomad Highlands, that we still have to do as well. I think... Where's the... Um, where is... Yeah, Smothering Pit's got a route too. So so we could get a point there. We can get a point here. Um, and then we have four Elixir Wells in Kendall Waste to do. And maybe a couple more routes, like maybe one here, here too. As well okay let's sleep and then uh, we'll head out okay so I made four flame altars uh, because we can put up to four down I've, I've picked a few other ones up that I didn't feel like I needed anymore because these locations we're going to are not near enough to aspire uh, so we'll have to you know use the flame altars to get to them um, I think what we'll do Let's go to the Kindle Way Spire. Okay, so that's the Sun Temple. 
Um, we do need to actually go behind the Sun Temple. And, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. We're not... I think I'm going to actually take some sugar. And what does this tea do? Endurance stamina. Yeah, let's take this too because we're going to be doing some fairly long flights. And then we'll just increase our health. We're not going to... I'm not planning on doing a, a lot of combat. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the first gold chest we're going after is somewhere on the other side over the cliff. Uh, I went and grabbed it once on multiplayer with one of my buddies. And I don't remember exactly where it is. And it's also one of those things where if we don't get to it, it's going to kill us. So I think what I'm going to actually do, unless we can spot it from up here, it's like somewhere down there. You know what I think I'm going to do? Let's temporarily set an altar down right here. So that way, if it does take us a, a couple of attempts, um, you know, we can at least come right to this spot. But it might be down there on that shelf. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, that's it, right there. Okay, let's see what it has. Okay, well, that's kind of lame. <laughs> but we do get some, um, we do get some goodies for it. Okay, so if we put, we just want to make sure that this is outside of the range of the chest so it doesn't prevent respawn. And then we can just come directly here to farm this chest. Let's go back up to this one and pick this one back up now, because that one doesn't need to be there. We need to get over here, across this canyon. Dodging those birds can be tricky. you got to time it just right or they'll nail you. Now... I'm not exactly sure where this next chest is. I just know it's in this area. So we're going to have to kind of hunt for it a little bit. Okay, so... um. This chest is just right here-ish. Um, maybe even just right down here. Okay, I think we need to go back down around here. There it is, right there. Nice, okay. Look at that, we got an elder chest. We already have one, unfortunately. I mean, it's not unfortunate that we have one. <laughs> what I meant is, it's unfortunate that we didn't get the gloves, which is what we need. But, that's fine. We know that spawns elder equipment, and that's the main thing. Right, let's grab this, put it down, make sure it is out, the border is outside of the chest so it can respawn, and there we go. All right, let's take a look at our map. Oh, uh, wow, we still have quite a ways to go, don't we? And we need to do that for Othalon. Okay, I'm going to... Let's go ahead and mark the greatest game. And uh, head in that direction. But it looks like we might need to... We're going to have to take Shroud Potion here. And I'm going to also do an ice lotion and, and let's hold off on that because that's going to remove an hour from our time. Do I already have Flask of the Fell going? We do. Okay.
And once our sugar wears out, then I'll replenish it with a grapple point. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what this area is here. Yeah, let's avoid it for now. Okay, let's go take a look over in this area. Deep cut. Okay, so I think this is the place that has the cave with the chest. Oh, what the frick? There's like a patch of deadly shroud right there. You can't even see it. That's weird. Okay, so Athlon, I guess, wants us to kill all these bad bads. Let's wait uh, for our sugar to wear all the way off. It should wear off in a second or two. There we go. And then we can take this. All right. There's the Matron right there. Let's see if we can lob one up there and nail that dude. <laughs> well, we knocked him off the thing anyway. We don't want the Matron to get to go back or it'll reset her. I don't know how close she's going to come to us, though. down. What do we get? I already have that. I don't want to step in that invisible deadly shroud area there. Uh, somebody's still around. Skull buddies are taking them on. It's gonna get dark on us. Maybe there's a bed here we can sleep in. Bad guy. Hopefully I don't get fleas. You never know sleeping in these beds. Okay. So. Um, I think somewhere around here there's supposed to be a cave that has a gold chest at the end of it. Oh, shit. Bastard. Whew. Sure glad those guys can't climb ladders. Doesn't really make sense that they can't, though. They should be able to. that. Alright, 
he's dead. Just in case we bite the dust, you know, we can come back here. Let's go around over this way. I may be mistaken about that cave. Maybe it's in a different spot. Ooh. There's Yuckety Muck down there. Just went, ran right into the red stuff. How about you run right into the red stuff too, bud? I'm glad our own fireballs don't hurt us. I'd be dead a hundred times over by now. Oh shit! I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> okay. There's a silver chest. Found a star mace. Scared me, skeleton buddy. Skull buddy. Um, alright. So. There's more stuff over here. I don't want to go down there. Dangerous, those guys are. Dangerous, dangerous. I thought he had me there. Well, the trap got me. Cancel it in time. Oh well. Hopefully there's nobody else over here. Another silver chest. Still haven't found a repair thingy. Hmm. All right. Well, I must be mistaken then about the cave being here in Deep Cut. All right, guys, I think I figured this out. Um, the gold chest that I was looking for that's at the base of a cliff is actually back over here. So I put a marker down and we'll go back there. Um, but I am also, I believe, in the right place for the gold chest that I've been looking for inside of a cave. Um, we just needed to follow this path up. So we're still a deep cut. Um, and uh, there's another Matron boss that we have to kill up here too. 
But I think the cave's right over this way. Um, so let's n let's go ahead and start nuking her. And is there a way for us to get up here? Yeah. Okay. She might be able to get her poison shit up here. We get close enough, so we might have to move. Let's get her softened up anyway. Okay, we'll come up here. Um, she might not be able to reach us up here. If she can, it's probably going to kill us. Fireball is just so amazing because of the AOE that it has. So you don't even have to hit him, you know, directly, of course. All right, let's get the stuff out of her. And I think we're going... Yep, here it is right here. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's traps. Okay, we got an arrow striker and a repair bench. But now at least uh, we know where the location is. So unless I guess I try and ninja in here real quick and then back out, uh, I'll have to kill her every time. But, you know, she has, she's like a level 30 boss, so she has the, uh, the chance of dropping something pretty damn good too. All right, you guys. So we still have we still have this sun temple here um, that will also be a, a place that we can do some chest farming once we get uh, that far. I wonder if we could actually go back to Surat's rest and over to the other side, you know, where we picked up that block and then fly over to there. That might uh, be something we think about or... I guess, you know, from here, it's not that much further just to, to continue, you know, going on foot to get that far. Uh, but anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep farming these chests until I find the Elder Gloves. And I really would like to also get the legendary version of the Tempest Wand and maybe the Blackened Staff. And once I get all of that stuff together... Then the plan is to go ahead and tackle the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. Um, we might be doing that in the next episode. Just kind of depends upon how successful we are in, uh, you know, getting the rest of the stuff that I want to get. What's down here? Oh, sulfur. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Sulfur. <laughs> well, hell, since we're here, I might as well get some. Anyway. Um, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.